Tiffany, according to my source in law enforcement close to this investigation, Officer Newman Raja told investigators he shot at Corey Jones two different times. And Jones wasn't killed at his car during the initial confrontation, but after he had run 30 to 40 feet away. Raja walked investigators through the shooting scene soon after he shot and killed Jones at 3.15 Sunday morning. According to my source, on the videotape walkthrough, Raja said he was wearing jeans, a tan t-shirt, and a ball cap. He was not wearing a badge and was driving a white van. My source tells me Raja said he pulled up perpendicular to the front of Jones' broken car and said Jones was standing behind his open driver's side door. Jones immediately said, I'm okay. Raja said, police, man, are you all right? And says Jones suddenly pulled out a gun. Raja fired two to three shots, he says, and Jones took off running. Jones got as far as the guardrail, and Raja told investigators that in the dark, he could see the silver flicker of a laser on Jones' gun, and he fired two more times. Raja had left his police radio in his undercover van and was shooting his backup pistol. He called 911 on his cell phone as he tracked Jones with the gun. According to my investigative source, evidence technicians found a Jimenez Arms 380 semi-automatic pistol on the scene, which apparently belonged to Jones. They also collected Raja's duty gun and the backup gun he fired, as well as five bullet casings. Now, we've been told that Jones did have a concealed weapons permit. The sheriff's office is now conducting this shooting investigation. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News. Terry